me do, I guess, a few examples, and then we'll kind of walk through kind of what I'm doing. Now, the phone's kind of far away from me. Uh, I do have better success when I'm closer, so hopefully this works out and it won't be a total failure, but we'll try it out. Change it. See, there's my possible command. It worked. And when I say change it, it changes my wallpaper. So, kind of a simple thing, but it's really kind of neat, neat to do. Change it. So, I mean, yeah, very simple, but it's fun. I like doing it. And uh, I use Muse Live Wallpaper. If you guys don't use that, strongly encourage getting it. Uh, I've done videos on that in the past, so just uh, I'll include a link below. Um, so I can change the wallpaper. I can also... New Source. And what that does is it changes the source that Muse is pulling from. Um, so, you know, if you ever get tired of one of the uh, Muse uh, extensions that you have, you can always change it up and try another one. Great little thing to do. So, um, well, okay, let's do this also. Wi Fi. So, I just give little commands like that to cut my Wi-Fi on. Wi-Fi. And I've got the same thing set up for like Bluetooth, GPS, you know, recovery, shut down my phone. So just a sw swipe up, say a little command, does it for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh well. It's kind of a novelty, but uh, I've actually really got a lot of use out of it, more than I thought it would. And of course I can jump around between apps also. Open Phoenix. There you go. Open Google Plus. So, as you can see, pretty cool. Alright, so those are examples, but you know, the thing I just complained about I'm starting to fall victim to. It's cool to show something, but you know you need to be able to show people how to do it. So let me pick. Uh, well, you know what? Let's just create one. That's probably the best way to do it. I am going to create a profile and think about it. You know, what am I doing? I am uh, doing a voice command. So that's going to be an event. And to do all of those, you need the plugin Auto Voice strongly encourage getting that auto voice you select auto voice recognized I'm gonna to go to configure by clicking the pin and you know when you watch the videos most people do a command filter and they'll type in it I like doing the speak filter just because it a lets me know the phone recognizes what I'm trying to do so let's try um, let's do one for cutting my sync on and off sync uh, see, gives you lots of options. That's what I was trying to do. Let me try that one more time just to make sure it did well. Sync. Yeah, see, that's why I don't type it in. <laughs> Sync. There we go. I feel a little better about that. And um, I typically just do exact command. I know regex is kind of something that others typically do, but. Uh, the exact commands all I'm looking for I'm not trying to say okay Google cut on sync I don't really care about that so I'm gonna click check mark alright so I'm gonna back out and now that I've got the profile created you know what is it that I want it to do when I say sync so I'm gonna create a new task I never name stuff for the most part um, I just think that's easier but that's me alright so now that when I say sync what I want it to do I want it to uh, toggle my sync on and off. So I'm going to go to the plus sign. Uh, sync is under net. And where is sync? Auto sync. Now, 
I mean, you could do on, you could do off, but obviously if you're doing the command, you want it just to toggle. So I'm gonna change this to toggle. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna back out, I'm gonna back out. I can go in here, I could rename it, I could go in there and I could put in some nifty weight, then close, you know, auto voice, or I could do a lot of other stuff to make it a little prettier, but for nuts and bolts of it, this will work. So as you can see, sync for me is on. Let's see if it works. Sync. There it is. Sync's off now. Sync. Sync's on. All right, so that is that. Um, let me pull up Tasker again. So I went through and I did basically the same thing for GPS. Now GPS is a little bit different because you have to use uh, secure settings to do that. So I'll just show that. Basically I did the same thing, auto voice, and I just say GPS. And then the uh, plugin is secure settings to toggle GPS. Um, change it, that's the one I did for the wallpaper. And to do that, I use the uh, extension, oh gosh, what is the name of it? Hmm, I wanna say it's like Tasky or Taske, I can't remember. I'll put it in the description. The one, the Tasker extension you need for Muse, I'll put it in the description, I apologize, I can't remember. But that's also the one I use for new source. Uh, voice turn off, basically I just say turn off, my phone powers off. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, reboot, recovery, you know, basic commands. Um, let's see. Oh, and the one that I use to open apps, it's probably the most difficult. That was the one where I was doing this. Open Phoenix. Um, let's see. In this one, I basically just created the variable for uh, opening an app and uh, I found this one on YouTube this is one that actually was written fairly well I apologize I can't recall who to give credit to but um, it's just like the other one to me it's so basic um, check event behavior uh, let's see command filter basically it's open because you know when I do the little swipe up first thing I say is open and then it's waiting for the app name that's the uh, variable. So to create the variable, that's what you type in. Alright, so once you've got the variable, uh, regex, yeah, blah, blah, blah. That's basically all there was to that. And then you have the um, configuration let me open that up oh the uh, plugin for doing this is auto launch so similar to auto voice the other plugin for tasker that I use to do opening the app is auto launch um, and really it's so cool you just go in there you set the variable and you can then do all these cool things where you give like nicknames to apps and um, I mean, you could just call Google Plus Plus, and that way you could just say Open Plus, and it would open Google uh, Google Plus. Um, so yeah, just create that. Um, God, I'm not doing a very good job explaining this one. I apologize, guys. It's so simple. Though. I mean, you just go in there, you create the same thing with Auto Voice, with Open, and then the variable, and then you go to the uh, plugin, and you say, you know, basically it's just that extension. So click on it again, uh, name or nickname, and it's just that variable that we created a little bit ago. So I realize I didn't explain that one very well, but I think you can stumble through it based off how we did the other examples. So anyway, I'm going to try and keep this short, and I've already gone a lot longer than I intended, but basic commands works really well. Next up, I'll be doing my setup video. Reboot. 
All right, guys. Take care.